All right, so I would like uh, to take this opportunity to welcome our next trainer, uh, who is none other than uh, an accomplished author, who is none other than an accomplished author, uh, Florence uh, Wanyoni. Uh, she's doing incredible, incredible um, uh, in this particular business of uh, um, uh, blockchain technology. Uh, and I would like to welcome her to take us through. Um, I just see what she's accomplishing every single day in this particular space. And it's just wows me uh, what smart contracts can actually do uh, to us. It transforms our pockets, transforms our lives, makes us achieve uh, uh, the monumental goals, all right, uh, and so on and so forth. So I just want to welcome um, Florence Wanyoni. Now you are the host of this particular meeting. Please take us through uh, uh, um, um, the, the steps that we need to take as members, uh, how to get uh, to interact with smart contracts and what they all mean. So without much ado, I want to welcome uh, none other than Florence Wanyoni, uh, to, uh, to take over uh, the training right now. Karibu sana. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I truly appreciate you taking us through as always. I mean, and uh, I keep sharing my story uh, about how at a time when I was so low in life, you know, you came through for me and that's why I'm here today. So once again, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your leadership and as always serving the big uh, team. Uh, so for everyone else, my name is Florence Onyuni, as you've already heard, and I'm sorry, I'm not really in a position for my camera to be on today. It's just uh, sorry about that, but I will go ahead and dive right into the presentation or the training. So we are learning about Binance. Guys, I am so excited about this space because the more challenges we face, the more we are tasked with the uh, uh, we need to learn, we need to grow so that you can find the solutions to the things that, that are out there. So very quickly, uh, today I want to take us through in a very, uh, with a semi-presentation. It looks like, uh, it's almost like a, a PDF, I mean, like a PDF trying to convert it into a PowerPoint, but I couldn't really quite get it, but I did my best, I think, uh, as far as today goes. So maybe by tomorrow, the next day, uh, I should be able to know exactly how a PowerPoint uh, works. So so JKK, can you see, can you read at least, is it readable on your screen from your end? JKK, can you hear me? Can you just confirm if you guys can see? Yes, we can see token pocket. All right. Okay. All right. Perfect. So yes. So today I just wanted to make a small presentation so that uh, because I know I always talk just from, uh, you know, my headspace, uh, but maybe for the sake of our new guests, you know, maybe it will be easier just for them to see something visual. Uh, technically, I'm also a very visual person. When you just tell me something by mouth, I'll, I may forget, but when I see it, I will remember. So for guests, I want to welcome you. We have had a lot of success. Our team members, actually, I really appreciate all of you, our leaders in Kileleshwa. Oh, man, you guys are awesome. Always, always doing, going the extra mile. And that is one of the things that we've been reading in the book. Uh, what is it called? The... <laughs> The master key, the master key to riches by Napoleon Hill. Yeah, so I've seen all my all my team members uh, in Kilalesha go the extra mile, and that is the success that is being created out of that. So for our guests, welcome. Just know that you're going to be in safe hands with the people who introduced you here. If you always have any questions, reach out to anyone that you see on the presentation, uh, on the WhatsApp calls and, and WhatsApp groups, and they'll be able to assist you. So today we are going to learn from the basics, complete basics. How do we set up our token pocket wallet how do we register on binance you know like how do you become a member i mean of of, of binance how do you become a member of Fosage? so we're going to try uh, within the shortest time possible to go through this and like i said when i get it compiled i'll even be able to share it in the group so that you can look at it at your own free time and i hope it's going to be easy for you that again if you have questions of course you're more than willing to reach out and ask so how do we set up our wallet this is the very first thing of course if you're all members here uh, then of course you have wallets, but for our guests, uh, maybe they're just in the process right now. So we wanna make it even easier for them. So the very first thing that you do is you go to Google Play Store and uh, download the, the, the app 
the token pocket app, all right? And if you're using a computer, we encourage you to go to uh, download metamask.io from your laptop. Then of course uh, you go through, you must pick the right, uh, the correct block because I've seen uh, for the first time, especially sometimes we forget, we click on any blockchain and remember we are dealing with the BNB. So you must choose uh, the Binance Smart Chain block. Once it's ready, your wallet is ready and you secure your 12 words, then add the, the token, which is the BUSD. Of course, you'll just click on the plus sign right here and then uh, you will be able to see it and you'll be set and ready for you to uh, add some assets in there. Then you'll be able to engage with uh, the, the Forsage platform. So, um, of course, where, how do we now go into registration? So you have your wallet, you have your assets. We'll show you now where to buy the assets. But uh, now when you're ready with everything, of course, then you want to do registration process as a brand new member. Uh, you click on, the, on, on discover, it's right there at the bottom. Uh, and it says discover, I've drawn a little arrow that points right there. So once you click on that, then, um, on the, on the next page, you should be able to see uh, the search engine at the very top uh, or the D apps place. And then that's where you type in for search.io. Then it will take you uh, to where you'll start interacting now with the smart contract. Alternatively, you can also paste the link of your inviter on the D apps instead of doing it manually. And then you will be, actually that is a much more um, efficient way because you'll be it's it's quite accurate sometimes we forget and i've even had a story today from one of the leaders that uh, somebody was trying to do registration and guess what they forgot to put in the upline id and uh and 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 so they 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 registered under the wrong uh, person so of course we want to work as a team i mean it also takes effort like jeremiah has explained especially if you want to make money faster or earn faster you engage a few people so it's not really fair for us to engage somebody a friend a relative and then they they are signed up under a wrong id so we want to make sure that that is something that we look at very very seriously all right so um and probably if you're wondering where to get, if you're a member and you're wondering where to get your link, I just want to stop this screen. Then I go back and show you exactly where you will find that. And I think I have it. Um, just one second. Let's see. All right. Um, yes, okay. I think it was actually right here. All right. So yes. So this is an account. Uh, this particular account, we are able to. This is actually one of the our uh, back office and uh, or your mm -hmm. search account. You scroll where mm -hmm. this X for to the left. It, it shows you your affiliate link. So for all of us who have accounts in Forsage, uh, these are our links. So you can copy that link and paste it on WhatsApp and send it to the person who is uh, registering remotely. You know, like we say, Forsage is global. So of course you'll have uh, business partners from all over the world. And this is the safest way uh, for, for them to do the registration. So yes, now you know exactly where to go. So let me stop sharing that. And then I go back to where I was. I hope it's on the same page. Holy God. <laughs> okay. And I just want to clarify that uh, you're able to see what I see. I am back to the token pocket page. Somebody please just yes, unmute. Yes, Let me yes. know. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, perfect. So now I have clarified you, you don't want to ever make a mistake and let your money, let your business go to the wrong place. But I, and I've, I've also been a victim, you know, in June when we launched, yes, something similar happened, but you know, we now it's, it's of course a learning curve. And that's why I was insisting on that. So now you're doing the registration process. You continue moving on and I've already shared how you need to confirm your upline ID, uh, you know, by doing either manually or, uh, using the, the link. And uh, so the next thing will be for you now to continue the confirmation process. There's a disclaimer that you need to, uh, there's a little check checkbox here. You have to agree and accept the conditions of Forsage and then you move on. So you just go ahead and accept that. And once you, 
to accept that then your X3 and X4 slots shall be approved, they'll be activated, and then the, uh, the next thing will be for you to uh, activate your triple X, you know, your XXX. So again, I just took some screenshots and uh, these are some of the examples of how uh, the process will be ongoing. So you just need to approve the BUSD. Remember the assets would have been already loaded uh, into your wallet. So that's how the, the smart contract is interacting with your wallet directly. All right, so it's just for you to keep approving and the process will be very, very seamless. So yes, X3, X4 will be open. That is the basic registration into Forsage and then it will ask you to uh, activate your triple X and you should be able, as you can see on the right, you should be able to activate your triple X and, and approve it and keep moving as you continue to um, uh, re your registration process. Uh, then over here, we just come in and say, uh, you're ready. now you're ready to log into your account. Uh, you can log in manually. Uh, you can also do an automatic login. And I really love the automatic login because uh, as you can see to the right, um, it's easier. I mean, it's it's, a, it's also a way of verifying that you can put in your password and be able to engage with your account. So it means uh, if your password is safe with you, nobody can ever hack into your account uh, or anything of that nature. And especially if you're still buying slots, automatic login directly links you to your wallet. So it makes the work easier for you. Uh, and then when you come here, then uh, you'll be able to, once you see all that, once you, you, you approve your BUSDs, you'll have successfully created a Forsage account. And now uh, tentatively, this is just a number like 131448, that is somebody's ID, their new Forsage ID. So even you as a new member, you'll be able to see that and you'll be able to see like your back office uh, of Forsage. Uh, when you need to buy more slots or to purchase the remainder of the slots, of course, uh, the, the grayed out slots will be uh, asking you to activate. You know, the, the lighter colored ones, the blue will be open like on X3 slot one here. Uh, somebody bought it already for $5. So they just need to keep activating now the next slot up to however, how much money it, it will allow that is in their wallet. Uh, and then uh, now I wanted to talk about how do you receive assets from another wallet? And I know this is, of course, it's going to be an ongoing conversation. Every single day we receive, we exchange uh, money, we transfer and, and, and receive. Uh, so you just need to know so that you, you don't feel like it's a tall order whenever you're asked to do that or whenever you need to do that. So assuming you're, you're receiving assets from a friend for whatever reason, what do you need to do? You go to your wallet and uh, under assets, you will see uh, three options, transfer, receive, and swap. The receive is right there in the middle. I have highlighted uh, a black marker around it. Click on that. And then to the right of it, you'll see a black barcode. Under the barcode, there'll be uh, the wallet address because sometimes we have wondered what is this wallet address? And guess what? You are right to ask that, especially for brand new people. Remember, some of us also didn't know, but we learned. So here we are learning. The wallet address looks exactly like that. You do not want to write it down. You just want to copy it, all right? So I've also highlighted with the black marker, uh, there's a little uh, place where, where you, you just tap on it and you will be able to copy that. So then what do you do? Uh, you copy that address and you send it via WhatsApp or Messenger, but I prefer WhatsApp most of the time. You just paste it on your WhatsApp uh, uh, to the recipient or to the person who is going to send the assets to you. Remember, you are the receiver. So you click on receive, all right? And you send the address to the person who is going to send you the assets. Once you do that, then you're good to go. Just sit back, relax, and wait for the assets to come. Now, if you want to transfer assets from your wallet to another person, just like, you know, they were to, if they were to do like the reverse of what I've just said, then you go again to your wallet. The very first thing you do is click on transfer. You can see the transfer I have highlighted, uh, drawn a black marker around it. So once you click on that, it will take you to the next page, which is the screen to the very right, and it says transfer again. So once you click on that, uh, then it will give you an option 
whereby you paste the, the recipient address. So this time you're the one who has received the wallet address from whoever. All right, maybe some, you know, a friend is sending you BUSDs. Uh, sometimes uh, I sell my book and I tell people pay me with uh, uh, the, the BUSD. So assuming I'm the one receiving uh, 10 BUSDs, guess what? I will uh, receive, wait a minute, would I be transferring or, or whatever? Somebody will, I, I would have sent them my, my wallet address. So I am, no, 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 let me not confuse you guys. When, when you're transferring, <laughs> when, that's the receiver address. Can I be confused in my own presentation? Probably. It's been a long day. But anyway, let me just go back to the beginning. We were, you were receiving, and now you are sending out. Yes, you are transferring. So it's me sending, not somebody sending to me. It's me sending assets to a friend. All right. So uh, what do I need to do? I just, uh, the friend will first of all send me their wallet address. Remember, now you know exactly where the wallet address is, all right? So my friend will send me uh, her wallet address because I need to transfer assets to her for whatever reason, all right? So once I have the address, then I've clicked transfer and confirmed the transfer again. Now I copy that address from my WhatsApp. I paste it here, all right? So the receiver is... Uh, tentatively like the, the wallet address that I have put here ending with 45F. One thing that I always love to do is you always want to really counter check these ad wallet addresses because with blockchain, like we say, yes, they're transparent, very clear, but once you send the assets to a wrong address, there is no way of knowing who you sent uh, th th that money to. And so you don't want to do that. I just try my best because I realize humanly we can make mistakes or we can miss something, you know, for whatever reason. So it's just always good to counter check. So go back to that WhatsApp message. Make sure that whatever that you're sending uh, really, really matches. Um, then you just put in the amount, assuming I'm transferring $40 uh, to my friend. Then I put the transfer amount and then I just click on confirm then it will ask me for the password. I should verify the password and confirm once again, and the assets will be gone in no time. I mean, maybe a minute or under a minute, they will have received the assets on the other side. Um, there's something else that, uh, do we have any challenges, any questions so far? I feel like, okay, yes, I know it's a lot of information and I have tried, maybe I'm trying to make sure that uh, I relate it to you guys. So do we have any questions so far? The differences between you receiving and you sending. Sending is just transferring out, but receiving is a, a little bit uh, clearer. So any questions? No, none? All right, perfect. So the only last thing that we need to do is how do we liquidate? Because we have, remember the smart contract helps you to generate income, right? That's why we're here. That's why we said you do not need to break the bank in order to earn more money. You can start where you are and grow your account. So now that we have the money in our wallets, and uh, we, we sometimes want to, we of course, we'll use the same money to buy more slots or in, you know, grow our business. But at the same time, you can have extra to do, uh, which you can liquidate. So liquidation is simply meaning uh, now you want that money uh, in M-Pesa form or you want it in your bank account in probably Kenya shillings. So this is where now we go to Binance. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope really <laughs> that it, that makes sense. Uh, so I'll stop sharing that screen and look for now the Binance uh, platform. All right, so here we are. One of the things that we will definitely, definitely emphasize is the fact that if you're a brand new member, you must have your Binance account verified. Verification these days takes like a very little time. There's no waiting time unless I see the only challenge that I have seen with most people who are not able to verify their accounts are if your phone is not really um, in good shape. Uh, otherwise, a lot of, you know, 90% of uh, new members, uh, they get this thing done and they go home with their wallets set up and also their Binance account set up. Now, why do we emphasize the fact that you should have your account uh, uh, set up? Because 
I mean, at the end of the day, like we said, you want to have that power within your hands. We are dealing with blockchain. We say it's decentralization at its best. We are trying, you're the bank, you know, you're trying to do everything for yourself so that, I mean, you can feel so good to know that there are other systems that can work on a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, platform. So basically, we're just giving power back to you so that you can enjoy all the benefits that uh, you, uh, are available in that particular space. So. The Binance is, once again, like I say, it's quite, quite easy. Uh, and, and maybe you don't have to feel bad that you, you've not been able to do that. We keep saying, call us, ask us. You know, seven days a week, this is all we do. This is all we, we live for. So we will never get tired. Even if you find somebody is tired, I have not seen any one of my partners, uh, my business partners, at uh, tell off someone just because they're tired or for whatever reason. We always, always strive to make sure that we do our best because this is the promises that we make on these particular Zoom calls. So yes, make sure that your account is verified. It's so simple. Um, okay, initially I didn't think it was also simple, but uh, now that I know uh, you can look when once you log in, once you log in, you come here to your right and you, you see that little face uh, like that looks uh, a representation, the symbol of a human, then of course mine, mine says it's verified. So if yours is not verified, you just go back and look at the security measures that you need um, to engage uh, so that uh, you, you do what they say for you to do, then you'll be able to have and enjoy all the rights that are there. Actually, I saw a message on Binance this morning that said, uh, for those who have been, um, maybe you've done the basic, because there's a basic verification, those are just you put in your name, your number, where you live and stuff like that. But the intermediate, uh, the intermediate process is the one that really gives you a chance uh, to be able, the in, the intermediate stage, once you, you're able to go get that through, that is the one that now gives you the access for you yourself to be able to buy and sell assets on the particular platform, all right? Yeah, so um, you, you really, for me this, I insist so much because like we said, there's so much opportunity on this platform that you're able to uh, capitalize on and, and make extra money beyond just uh, have generating income and not knowing what to do. Because like we said here, you can even grow your money by buying and holding, you buy some assets, uh, you even um, stake some assets. So it, it's basically like we said, financial progression and uh, building your financial portfolio. Uh, so let me see, you know, sometimes I'm not good at, um, not, not sometimes, but kind of, all right, so how to download, you know, the basics of how to download the Binance. You, you just come here, uh, you go to your Google Chrome and download Binance, click on binance.com. It will be able to um, bring you the Binance space. And then uh, because you do not have an account, you will click on register. Instead of clicking on login, like uh, some of us who already have accounts for you as a first timer, you will click on register. And that is where the process starts. So the basic information will be just to put in your name, your number, you pick the country where you, which you live in. And then the intermediate, which normally gives people sometimes a hard time, is they ask you for your ID, you upload your, the front of your ID, the back of your ID, then you take a selfie and then do some facial recognition. Actually, that facial recognition sometimes is the one that throws us off. Now, I also just want to keep insisting that if you're having a hard time, please call us and let us help you. All right, because uh, to from our side, it is not hard at all. Yeah, we are able to help you through so that we know. And then of course, do, uh, uh, we check if is it the phone that is having an issue. Sometimes if your phone is giving you difficulties, please uh, use a computer. It normally goes through a little bit faster. So that is just the basic on how to get yourself set up on this. Uh, and then um, we say we were coming here to liquidate the assets, right? Because most of you ask, and I completely understand when you're brand new, you're wondering, okay, I have earned this money. I see it in my wallet. I now want it in Kenya shillings. So the very most important thing that you'll come here again, once your account is verified and you're able to liquidate for yourself so that you don't keep calling your friends, maybe at midnight, they might be asleep and you might be in an emergency situation where you need that money, all right? So that's why we keep insisting that please have your own accounts so that you can have 
total control uh, on what to do with your money at any given time. So you want to bring your assets here. So you'll transfer them. And maybe now this I will do next week, I'll organize a presentation also on how to transfer. Uh, for those who want to read it uh, physically, uh, like me, like I said, when I see something uh, shown to me practically, then I'll be able to remember. So I'll put something together for us next week uh, on how to bring the assets from token uh, pocket to the Binance so that you can liquidate. And actually it's just the same process of how to transfer the assets out, all right? So you're transferring the assets from the token pocket uh, wallet onto your Binance uh, wallet here account so that you're able to liquidate. So I talked about uh, you must have a wallet address. So where does wallet, where does Binance hold its address? You want to deposit money here. So Binance is the receiver in this case. So you're going to click on deposit. Once you click on deposit, it will generate a, a wallet depending with the coin. Uh, number one, we are dealing with crypto. So yes, uh, probably we are dealing with a BU. So I'll just click. If you don't see your coin, just look, search for it, and you should be able. Uh, it should be able to pop up as long as it's supported on this particular uh, platform. So BU will come here. And then you always want to make sure that the network that you're using is uh, uh, correct. It's 100%. So the BUSD uh, relies on the Binance Smart Chain. Remember, that is what we use actually even to download the block of the uh, on, on, on the token pocket wallet. So the, the, the address has been generated. It's right here. And yeah, so it's again, it's very long. And all you need to do is click and copy. So once you click and copy, then now this is what you will go to the token pocket wallet and paste as the receiver uh, address so that you can send out your assets. Wow. I just, uh, I know for first timers hearing all this, probably you just, I mean, it's too much or it's quite a bit, but not to worry. We'll keep practicing. That's why we say uh, we may have to learn the same uh, stuff over and over, but eventually we get it. Not to worry. If you have struggles, always call me. I shall help. Uh, so yeah, now you deposit your assets here and then we go to the market. The market has a lot of people. Uh, you just click on the P2P trading. That is the peer-to-peer -peer platform. The peer-to-peer -peer platform, they are just waiting for you to sell your assets to them because that is what they do. You know, the way people sell clothes and shoes, then they sell currencies eh? and they, they are very, very effective. Sometimes I think about how we have to go out of our way just to buy the things we need in life, but on blockchain and on Binance, you can do this from your bed and you are just uh, very, very happy. That's why I said you become the bank. You no longer need to go and queue anywhere in order to get money. So, um, here are the, the buyers, the sellers. If you want to sell, you just click on sell and then you'll be able to see uh, who really is going to give you the value that you prefer. Some of these people who engage with bank transfers, international wire transfers, I mean, personally, I don't use them because some of them are out there like in other countries that sometimes you wonder, okay, I, I, Binance verifies all of their traders. Uh, but some of them, they talk about if you do international air transfers, the procedures may take one to two hours. And sometimes most of us, we don't have one to two hours. Um, yeah, so I prefer personal preference. This is just me as Florence. I always prefer m -Pesa. The first person I see on m -Pesa, I look at them. Okay, how much are they selling? How much can I sell to them? Do they have what I need? And is their price good enough? Then yeah, we just engage. Like you sell, all you need to do you just click sell. Of course, I'm not going to make an active sell right now because it's not quite, but I just wanted to show you what you need to do. If let's say you want to sell, uh, we are selling what you, this is in this case, it's USDTs, maybe a hundred USDTs. It will even give you the conversion, how much you will receive in Kenya shillings. And then of course, you always want to make sure your phone number is there. My m -Pesa number is there so that they can send the money directly to me. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I love so much about Binance, within a few minutes, I'm talking maybe two to three minutes, you would have received your m -Pesa on your phone. And then you'll be able now to release the assets from 
your site. Remember, it is safe to engage here because Binance has an escrow process which protects you from the other person on the other side. Because remember, you don't even have to call them and say, hey, I have made us, uh, I've made a um, have an inquiry, I need to sell my assets, they will automatically, the moment you hit the sell button, they are able to see from their end and they will send you the, the, the money and you will also send them the assets. It's such a two-way uh, uh, flow of uh, assets versus cash and it is supposed to be seamless. Once in a while, we get people who probably, because they are human beings, they might be away from their phone, they might, there might be a delay, but this is just a one of most of the people that I've engaged with on this trade, they really, really come through 99%. So your money is very safe. There is no need to fear or to worry. Now, uh, let me see what else that I'm able to talk about here. Any other, let me, my business partners, let's please help. Do, do I need to talk about anything else? Um, that is very, very important. I know there's much, yes, for them to absorb, but uh, what are the key, key things that we need to cover? I just wanna make sure, please help me uh, share. I, I don't mind, you know, you can just pop in something that might remind me of uh, one or two things that I need to tell our people, so I do not mind. In the meantime, as I wait for any feedback, again, I always tell you guys, I love the wallet Fiat and Spot. That is the main wallet that holds uh, assets uh, uh, and at any time you exchange assets, they come here. And so you're able to see your assets. Uh, you, you're also able to, to do transfers. Let, let's say maybe you want to transfer now. Um, uh, what do we really do mostly when, okay, you want to transfer your assets from the, uh, the fiat space into the P2P space. Uh, it just simply means when you click transfer, uh, you're transferring money, especially just from fiat to funding. Uh, these days, the P2P, they have called it funding. So you come down here and you look, okay, it went to cross margin. Let me just go back. Uh, so fiat and spot. And I want to click and change yes to the funding account. So if you see funding, do not be overwhelmed. They just recently changed. Uh, uh, instead of calling it P2P, they now call it funding. So that's how you uh, exchange your assets on, on, the, on the platform. Because if you want to sell and your assets are on fiat, it will not go through. And you'll be wondering, how come I have money and I'm not able to engage the traders? So the traders are engaged on the P2P platform or the funding platform. Yeah, so you can transfer as much money uh, in a given day. That's why we say here, it's unlimited income. You can do so many trades in a day and nobody is asking you. And that is just the power of P2P platforms. Um, so there's your fiat. And spot wallet, there's also a P2P wallet. Once you put money here and you're ready to engage with the local traders, uh, it'll be in that particular wallet and you will also be able to see your assets there. Um, yes, as you can see, these days they call it funding instead of P2P. Uh, what else do I love most in this space? Again, we said, now when you come to finance, we magically talk about the DeFi space, the decentralized finance space. Remember, I've shown you how you can move your assets between one wallet to another or one wallet to the Binance platform. And then you liquidate for yourself so that you can get M-Pesa money. My goodness, how amazing can life change? You know, to where now we don't no longer have to go to the M-Pesa shops to do anything. We no longer have to go to the bank to depend on that. You depend on yourself. And that's why we keep saying, please, please get your Binance verifications done and start engaging actively on this particular space so that you will even, you feel so good. In fact, you'll just feel like a genius. Then um, under finance and under decentralized finances, we showed you how you can earn more money. Once you generate money on the smart contract, you can come here and do the staking. Like we said, you just have to look at the percentages and say, hey, I want the BNBs that I have right now, I don't want to just let them stay idle in my in my wallet. Let me go ahead and put them away uh, for 30 days and you will see the percentages there or however how many. We have uh, the flexible staking and we also have the fixed one. So it's really just up to you to choose whichever that you like and you will go 
with that. So, and you can also do what else? You can also take loans like we say. And again, just a disclaimer, I'm not a financial consultant. I'm just a teacher who is actually a student slash teacher who is just learning so much about what is happening on the Binance uh, uh, space, what advantages we can get out of this. So I'm not an expert at all. You know, I don't want to cheat you on that, no, but I'm just one person who we are all learning. I just happen to be the one who, you know, maybe I, I get the, the opportunity to, to teach, but most of actually the all the leaders, they know all this information. So we are not, you know, it's a disclaimer so that uh, I don't become the bank. I'm not a financial consultant, uh, but we tell you, you can also get loans here. So when we say this, I'm only using the disclaimer to say, so the truth doesn't stop with me today. Mini, I want you to go in and also dig deeper. I love some of my friends like Dr. Tab. She's always sending me things. We read together, we learn together, we grow together. You see, because we know that we want to know more. So that the day you make a decision and say, I want to take a loan, you're taking it on your own behalf, not because Florence said. But Flo said, she's just showing us what is available on the Binance platform. Yes, so there's so much more, <laughs> guys, there's so much more. You can also trade for those of you, you're coming here, you've already been Forex traders. Now here you trade crypto and here are the markets. Uh, so basically, um, there's just so much that you can do in order to gain more money. If you're, if you're a skilled trader, please engage. But if you're not a skilled trader, uh, we definitely, definitely would never want you uh, to lose your money. Uh, we do, go to school, it's better to wait. Uh, and, and at the right time, you'll be able to know exactly uh, what you can trade and, and what you don't need to trade. Um, another question that I get asked is swapping, swap. You know, in the wallets, we can swap one currency to another, one asset to another. So let's say I have a lot of BNBs sitting in my wallet, yet I need to buy the next slot uh, on BUSD, of course, BUSD is a stablecoin that we're using, uh, but you have uh, maybe you, you need to top up so that you can afford the BUSD. So what do you need to do? Instead of just letting the BNB sit there, you can swap it back to BUSD and buy the next slot. So in the wallet, token pocket, it works really well, even though sometimes I find it, it has maybe once in a while, sometimes it has its challenges. So instead of overthinking, why not transfer the assets to Binance platform and swap from here? This is normally one of the fun things that I love. Every time somebody tells me flow swap for me, I'm like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, because it's so easy, it's amazing. So you come here, uh, once you bring your assets to this particular platform, and let me say, maybe you have your BNB, you which you'd love to swap to your BUSD, you all you need to do is bring your assets here, click on the maximum amount and swap or convert. <laughs> and it will show you right here. So then you can take your assets back to your wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, all I'm saying is there's so much that you can do here. And uh, it's just <clears throat> very, very empowering. So I think I shall stop there. I shall stop there to be very honest because now it's like 9.43, it's been so many minutes. I know most students, they, okay, I, I, I'm one of those students who after 30 minutes, hmm, I'm a little bit off. So I don't know about you, but what I'm saying is I don't want to give you too much to where it becomes almost irrelevant. Maybe the little that you've gotten today is good enough. Remember, we are always striving to do better. Our team, oh my God, is amazing. We have have thinkers, we have growers, people who are always looking to see what next, what else can we give our people so that they can really excel. So yes, just know by the time uh, the week comes around, we will have so much more probably in addition to what we, we've shared today. Other than that, we just wanna consider again, reiterating the fact that we are available for you uh, in case you have any questions re relating to the Binance, relating to Token Pocket uh, and ask and it is given. That is our promise to you. So I think I'll just stop sharing my screen and see if there's a question um, um, on the chat. I don't see. So please keep us busy. Let me just remind us about um, 
tomorrow is Tuesday. We have a meeting in Salehe in town, uh, invite, invite, oh my God. And then at the same time, there's a meeting happening in Eldoret, invite, invite, uh, keep up with the, you know, uh, Nyambura and, and JKK. They'll be in Eldoret tomorrow. Send your guests there. They'll be more than happy uh, to assist you, grow your team. Uh, what else? Then, of course, we'll be on the Zoom tomorrow. Is amazing day. We get a double blessing. We have our leader, Shiro. She's, you know, like she, you've just had her. She just came from the States. She's fired up to build and grow us. So tomorrow we are having two Zooms, one at 1 p.m. and another at 8 p.m. And she'll be facilitating that. So we look forward to that. And then, of course, we are available on call. Call us, let us know how we can help each other, how we can grow each other. And for that, I say thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you so much. And let us meet on the next platform.